Hi guys, welcome back to Nitant Vlogs. In this video, I'm gonna to show you a new technique of replicating your Android phone through Android Auto in your car's infotainment system screen. You can access almost all of your phone apps and the whole Android device through your car's screen. It means you can play YouTube videos while driving, access the internal memory, use camera app and all other features in the same way as you use on your Android device. So to achieve this, there is a little effort which you may or may not like and that is you will have to root your Android phone. I think you are aware of rooting if you are not then uh, I would like to tell you that there are so many rooting guides on internet and the most trusted I would recommend is the XTA developers and the link is in description below. Once you are on a rooted android you need to download these two apks from the links in the description below. One is AA mirror and another is AA unlock. So just install these one by one. So I'm installing AA mirror first and then the AA unlock like this. Now you need to open the AA unlock and press the unlock button. When you will press the unlock button, it will ask for the root access. Just grant the root access and then you need to reboot your Android device. And now the Android device is rebooting. After rebooting, you can check for the two new apps on your phone. These are AA Mirror and AA Unlock. Just open up the AA Mirror and select the screen settings option, which is the first one and then select the screen rotation to force rotation degree you can set to 90 degree or 270 degree and then you need to select restore rotation on focus loss to check and adjust ratio on focus check restore ratio on focus lost check and then go back just select the audio settings request audio focus on connect to check so these are the settings you need to do in AA mirror. Now you need to go back to the apps and uh, the next setting is in the Android Auto app itself. Just open up the Android Auto and go to the about and then tap on the about for 5-6 times and it will enable the developer options in the top as you can see. Just click on the developer options and go to the last option that is unknown sources and just check it and then go back and exit from the android auto and just go to the home screen now the next step is to connect the usb cable which will enable the android auto Cards infotainment system. So I'm going to connect it and there it goes. You can see the Android Auto icon. Just tap on the icon and just tap on the last option in the Android Auto screen. In the bottom of the screen you can see the last icon. Just tap on it. Just keep your phone unlocked. So can you can get the permission requests which Android Auto Mirror will request and I think I missed that so I need to do again click on the last icon like this. So this time you can see just select do not show it again and accept the prompt. Check the box like this and go back. Now you can see the 
your phone screen is replicating on the infotainment system screen but still there are a few more settings so I'm going to unplug the USB and then again plugging it back which will relaunch the same application uh, I will I'm just tapping on the last icon again and here is another setting which I need to tick and this time the rotation is landscape you can see just unlock the screen uh, we are missing one more setting there should be some prompt for the root access which I cannot see till now because Android Auto Mirror will uh, also request for the root so I'm checking it um, by going to the Magisk if you have super user application you can go to that and check for the um, root access requests so here I can see that Android Auto Mirror, Mirror has requested for the root so I'm granting the access by checking it like this now go back and again unplug the USB plug it back it will relaunch the app you can see as it will relaunch the app again go to the last icon and this time everything will work flawlessly you can use the touch screen of your infotainment system and you can see your phone screen on your infotainment screen and this time it will work 100% fine all your apps will be here if you again click on the last icon it will show two applications one is in order to mirror and second one is return to the Maruti Suzuki or your car's uh, home screen so I'm selecting the Android Auto Mirror and here you can see how it works. So friends you can do whatever you want. You can just open any app. You can use YouTube. You can play any video from the YouTube. And it will play just like you are playing on your phone friends just for your safety i would like to remind you that this feature is not recommended while driving this is just a feature for the passengers if you don't have the secondary display in your car Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.